Hello everybody, um, I have the, another set of questions here taken uh, from the CEM tests um, practice book um, and the first question is, we start with question, this comes up as question 14 so let's start with question 14 and let's take it so that we know that uh, that's the one I'm working on because I have question 14 to 24 um on this um on this slide um and uh, so uh, we want to start with 14 okay so um the question is thomas won a race with a time of three and three quarter minutes how many seconds is this that will be correct answer so this is obviously going to be equal to uh, three minutes so we have it converted into seconds so we multiply it with 60 we get 180 and click on that three quarter of 60 that is four times 15 so that is 45 minutes so if i add them i'm going to get five to to 25 minutes so the answer is a 1a the next one is all of these times are shown in the 24 hour clock. So I'm going to raise this off so that there's more space for me. Okay, so um, all of these times are shown in this is question 15. All of these times are shown in the 24 hour clock. Circle the clock that shows 25 minutes to midnight. So midnight in this case will mean uh, 24. Um, hours so 25 minutes to midnight is definitely going to be E that is 2335 question number 16 Mr. Smith started to paint his fence at quarter to 10 in the morning and finished it at 5 15 p.m. if he took an hour off for lunch how many hours was he painting for okay so he started to paint his fence at quarter to ten in the morning so quarter to ten is 9 45 a.m and he finished it at 5 15 p.m 5 15 p.m so how long was it that's what we have to find how much uh, how many hours and then we take off one hour for lunch so if i do 9 45 do, uh, if I do 445 4.45 p.m. just to count the hours so it will be 9.45 so 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so that is 7 hours and then I have to do from 4.45 to 515 and that is 30 minutes so I will say plus 30 minutes now then minus one hour that's the hour he took off for lunch so it's going to be six hours 30 minutes so six hours 30 minutes next one is question 17 and question 17 is asking Todd, Sam and Parov all had swimming lessons one after the other. Each lesson lasted the same amount of time. Their lessons lasted for 2 hours and 15 minutes altogether. How long was each lesson? So um, 2 hours and 15 minutes. This the answer has to be in minutes, so 2 hours and 15 minutes equals 2 times 60 is 120 plus 15, that is 135 minutes. And this has to be divided by 3, because there are 3 people, one after another, they're having their lessons, so if I do divided by 3, I get 3 times 4 is 12 and 113 for 3 times 115 sorry 113 yeah so 3 times 5 that's 45 minutes 
so I am going to write 45 okay my next question is number 18 and that is saying if um, 18th May is a Tuesday what day of the week is 18 if is 18th June circle the correct answer okay so to um to do this question we will um, try and make a calendar so i'll just write today so we have start from sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday okay so 18th of may is a tuesday so i put 18th here it's may okay so uh, the next Tuesday is going to be 18 plus 7 so that will be 25 the next Tuesday it will be 25 plus 7 that's 32 May has 31 days so Monday is 31 that will be 1st of June so this is um, June starting the next one will be 1 plus 7 that's 8 of June 8 plus 7 is 15th of June so then 16, 17, 18, and that is a Friday. So 18th is a Friday. And next is 19. Question number 19 is asking Jenny spends 25 minutes on her homework each night for five nights each week okay so the question is how long in hours and minutes would she spend doing her homework over two weeks so um, 25 minutes on her homework each night five nights each week so over two weeks so 25 nights each week means 10 days so 25 times 10 that's 250 minutes and that divide in hours and minutes would be if I divide it by um, by 60 to get the hours so 60 times 4 hours and the remaining is 10 minutes so i'm going to get four hours and ten minutes okay then question number 20 xavier uh, took two hours and 20 minutes to run a half marathon which of these could have been his start and finish time so i put a blank answer so we have to work out the difference between the two times and see if it is two hours and 20 minutes so hmm. If I do 10, 20 and 12, so 10, 20, 11, 20, 12, so this is not the answer. 11, 52, 50, 12, 50, 150, no, less than 2 hours, 11, 10, uh, 12, 10, 1, 10. So 1, 10 to 145 is, uh, sorry, it's more than 20 minutes, so that's not the answer, which means D is the answer. So we can do our check 11.35, so 12.35, 1.35, so 1.35 to 1.50, sorry, 1.55, that's 20 minutes. So this is our answer, 20 D. And then 21 yeah, is saying that Molly visited the zoo on Thursday, 21st February. Um, um, she arrived 40 minutes after the zoo opened and left two and a half hours before it closed between what times was she there okay so um, Molly was to do on a Thursday 21st February so the zoo opening hours Monday to Friday so it's 20 February so this is what we have to be looking at November to March okay so it's a Thursday so these are the times so the opening times are 10 30 to 3 30 
So she arrived 40 minutes after the zoo opened, so 10.30 plus 40 minutes. So that gives me, um, that's 40 and 20. Um, okay, so 40 and 20 and 20, so that will give me, uh, if I say 11 plus if I do 20 and I do another 20 so that gives me 11 20 okay so she comes in at 11 20 and then she leaves two and a half hours before it's it it closes no 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 what did I do? What that wrong? Look at that. How silly of me. So 10. Yeah. So that's 11. And then it's 11, 10. Ten thirty, isn't it? I got the whole thing wrong. Sorry about that, but that is starting at 10.30 and with 10.30 I have to add 40 minutes, so I will add 30 and I will add 10, so that will give me 11 and 10, so that will give me 11.10, so once I do that, we have 11.10 as the starting time. So I will have 11, sorry, 1 and 10 as the starting time. And then when does, um, when does she come out? So it's two and a half hours before. So it's 15.30, 2 hour is 1. 30, so it is 1. Minus 30, so obviously that's going to be 1 o'clock. Uh, so it's going to be 13.00. Zero, zero. Okay. So the next question is saying, this is Jessica's timetable for Monday. It shows when each activity starts. So that's... Uh, is the time so we have register math spelling break literacy lunch science and music so the question 22 was asking spelling overruns by 12 minutes what time does jessica brace jessica's break now start so we have spelling at 10 15. it's starting at 10 15 and break at 10 starts at 10 50. so sp spelling overruns by 12 minutes it means it will be 10 50 plus 12 so it's going to be 11 or 2 so it will be starting at 11 or 2 the next question is Jessica leaves the school and to go to a dentist 35 minutes before the start of literacy list and returns to school five minutes before the start of lunch how many minutes was she away from school? So she leaves school to go to a dentist at 35 minutes before. So literacy is 1110. So 35 minutes before the, that. So that will be 11, 10, uh, 35 minus 35. So if I do subtract 10, I get 11. And then I get subtract 25. So I will get 35. And I will get 10. So she starts at 10.35. So 10.35 is the start. And then she arrives, returns to school 5 minutes before the start of lunch. So it would be 12.10. 12 12.10. 12 so it's 12.10. So arrives 
Okay, so how long has she spent? So she will have spent 10.35 to 11.35 is 1 hour, 11.35 to 12 is 25 minutes and 35 minutes. 1 hour, 35 minutes or 60 plus 35, that is 95 minutes. Okay, question 24. Question 24 is saying Jessica was away at the dentist for 10 minutes longer than the length of her music lesson. When will her music lesson end? So this is saying she was away at the dentist for 10 minutes longer than the length. So what is the um, music lesson? Okay, so here if we if we go by it this question follows from question number twenty three. So it is so away at the ten minutes longer. So um if it is um what we do here is the so um is this is uh, what we have to do is that Jessica is away for 95 minutes and the um, she is away for 10 minutes longer than the length of the mu music lesson so we have to find the length of the music lesson so that is 95 minus 10 that's 85 minutes that's the length of the music lesson uh, okay and then uh, it is so when will the lesson end the so lesson starts at 1440 and it we have to add 85 minutes to it so 85 minutes or we can add that's equal to one hour and 60 and 25 minutes yeah okay so plus fourteen forty and one hour and twenty five minutes so if you do uh one hour it will be fifteen forty and then twenty minutes will give you sixteen and then five minutes so it's 16.05 so that's when her music lesson will end okay so hopefully this completes this paper and it will help a little bit so thank you for your time bye